So what's up? We're officially in Arizona. We're actually gonna be apartment shopping. I'm thinking about moving down to Scottsdale, Arizona. If you've been following me for a little while, by now you probably know that I like to move around a lot. Obviously last year I lived in Miami for a little bit, then I moved back over to the West Coast and now I'm trying to try Arizona. What this is, is this company called Joe Malone, you guys. This is my favorite fragrance company in the game. And no, they do not sponsor me at all. I wish they do, but there's just not a chance at this level. So basically, this is what we picked up yesterday at the Scottsdale Fashion Square. It's basically like the big mall down here. Basically what this is, is body wash that smells like the smell wood, sage, and sea salt. On top of that, we've got the mini wood, sage, and sea salt. I love being able to carry cologne with me in my pocket on like a travel size, just because there's always times where it's like, ooh, I wanna, you know, freshen up right quick, boom, boom. Got the little cologne, this one's literally perfect, so I had to pick up the travel size, boom. Then we also got the big boy, which is the same exact fragrance as all of these. I got the same fragrance on all of them, obviously, because this fragrance is like my favorite. Today, I woke up, up and felt like conquering something new. So what we're gonna be doing is climbing Camelback Mountain or hiking Camelback Mountain. It's a really famous hike in Arizona. It's a couple miles long and it's really, really uphill. I think it's like 2000 feet in elevation. So we just made the pit stops for everything we need for the hike. Number one, electrolytes. We got a bunch of water. We've got the sunscreen, which is needed because I'm gonna probably be going at like 11. Lip sunscreen as well. Two turkey sticks, some granola bars for us. And then lastly, we got this apple cider vinegar shot just for fun. Ooh, this is gonna be nasty, I already know it. Whew. Beautiful hike, you guys. Beautiful area, insane scenery. We can literally see all of Arizona from up here, you guys, check this out. Literally see the whole entire city. It's like the whole entire state we could see from up here. It's crazy, crazy vibes, you guys. Great hike, beautiful way to start the day. It's only like 12. We made it up here in like less than an hour or so. From the top of this mountain, you could literally see like not just the city, but the whole entire state. Like literally as far as I could see, basically like beautiful, just breathtaking view. We're gonna probably get started heading down. I got my backpack right over there. Yeah, I'm gonna start heading back down, so let's get it. I actually just bought these guys today, which were pretty dope. They're kind of like a pink salmon color, but they're just like little Kappa slides. Perfect slides for the airport, perfect slides to just kind of vibe out and chill in. What we got are some vans so you guys vans are literally you can never get too big for vans you can never get too old for vans these are classic shoes and in specific you guys you already know this pair right here you guys this is the classic pair of vans i've literally wore these so much throughout my whole entire childhood this just reminds me of high school me and all the boys literally always would have these pair of vans and it was like these were perfect they go with any outfit always looking good i guess it might be kind of a west coast thing because i don't see too many people rocking vans other than the west coast boys so i guess it might be a little west coast thing why i love these shoes so much but i absolutely love the silhouette of these they're super low low profile look great with no show socks and shorts these are just perfect vibes you guys as you guys probably noticed and can tell by now i used to be when i was younger one of those kids who would just go out and buy all these crazy clothes crazy shoes crazy stuff now that i have my own brand now that i have my own companies and now that i'm a little older i definitely definitely prefer to be a little more low-key with what i wear i always go big on the jewelry or i always like to you know add jewelry for sure spend money in that sort of area but as far as shoes and stuff goes you guys even though i could go buy a pair of 800 dollar balenciagas i'd much rather kick it with some vans because it feels like me that's the biggest thing to me you guys all right you guys so sadly gq couldn't pull up on us today but we're doing a what's in my bag this is literally just going to be everything that i travel with i wanted to do one of these because i feel like these are fun this is the weirdest thing to start with if you look at this this is like female deodorant or sp supposedly female deodorant right but what this is you guys is the game changer if you put this on your skin you will never ever ever use another type of deodorant again so smooth and it smells so fresh the thing about these deodorants that people don't understand is if you put on like old spice deodorant for example and then you go put on some other cologne like it's gonna mix because the old spice already smells like cologne and then the cologne you put 
codon's gonna smell like another kind of cologne. Next thing is a double shot. Actually, my boy Cameron Howard put me on these, you guys. This is actually what got me started drinking coffee. Fun fact, like a year and a half ago, two years ago, I would not drink coffee at all. And then all of a sudden I started drinking these one weekend when I was in Miami with Cam. And uh, ever since then, I've just loved coffee and Starbucks and caffeine. So yeah, shout out Cam for putting me on these. These are literally fire. Next thing's gonna be the creator brand stickers, you guys. I bring these everywhere with me because, you know, I put them up, stick them around, you know, let people know. You could actually scan these with your phone and it brings you to the creator brand Instagram, which is super, super sick. More to come on these soon. I'm gonna be doing like a whole entire movement where I try to spread these across the whole entire US. It's gonna be crazy, but more on that coming soon. Next thing is gonna be cologne. I always travel with cologne. Obviously, I just picked this up yesterday, as you guys probably saw in the clip before this. This Joe Malone, it's just... Just too nice, you guys. This little wood, sage, and sea salt. I'll do it for you one more time. Next thing, you guys, is going to be my gum. So I am a huge gum chewer, you guys. I chew gum probably more than anybody you know. I go through at least a pack, two packs of gum a day. This is actually a new type that I haven't tried yet, and it looks kind of cool. It's called Respawn by Five Gum. I actually just got this. With that being said, next thing is going to be the rings, you guys. These rings are basically my babies. So these rings, number one, I've got this little guy, and then I've got a little Carnier, a little pinky ring, and then I have the little heart ring that I got at Saks Fifth Avenue with kind of red and pink rubies. This ring I actually got when I sold my first drop shipping business. So when I actually officially exited my first drop shipping store um, and made my first little bag, like kind of big bag that I got in one day, because um, I sold it obviously I went and bought this ring as kind of a memorial it's been like five years and I haven't lost this thing I have no idea how but that's why it's so special to me is because for some reason I lose absolutely everything like if you know me I I'm, I'm literally a mess like with when it comes to like remembering where stuff is like I lose stuff like crazy but for these rings I never ever lose these guys next thing I always bring you guys is going to be my laptops number one laptop number two laptop they both have the crystalline diamond on them they're both both MacBook Pros. The reason I carry two, if all of a sudden I have one that doesn't work, I have a backup because the worst thing ever, you guys, is when you're in online business and you know it does matter to you how much you know if your laptop's working or not because simply like my laptop breaking or something and then me not being able to access a laptop for you know, a couple hours could be the difference in like a couple thousand dollars, right? Depending on what the situation is. Next thing that goes with these MacBooks is this guy right here, these little, um, I think people call these dongles. I don't even know what they're called, adapters. But basically what these things are is you plug it in because Apple's so annoying and they do the lightning bolt thing or everybody does it now. But when they first started, it was annoying because no cords had this little tip. So you had to get these adapters, but it's obviously important for my camera, which is another thing that I travel with. The camera I'm recording this on is Sony A6. Seven. Next thing is going to be my SD card passport. So essentially what this is, is it's not a passport, but it's called an SD card passport. It's just a bunch of SD cards. So I actually have two of my SD cards, one in the camera right now, and then one in my other camera, which is right here. Next thing going to be this phone microphone. So what this is, is a Rode mic, but it's for your phone. So you can essentially take an iPhone, plug it into the bottom like so, and then boom, you have an actual microphone on your phone. Next thing I carry is a Sony battery. This is a backup battery for my camera. I always carry at least two batteries on me. What this is, is a little Lululemon basically side back. So basically, I guess, I don't know how to describe it, but I just put it on like this and essentially it works. It's like the perfect thing. I'm always wearing this because it literally is the best way of carrying stuff not in your pockets guys i've had fanny packs backpacks but anyways you guys what i carry up in here is going to be my airpods airpod pros always come with me everywhere super important super key super clutch i feel like these are just the best little headphones that you could possibly get i never use any headphones other than this you guys i have so many pairs i also got the little creator logo right there which is super sick let me know if you want one in the comments and i'll ship one out to you next thing is going to be this little pouch right here where I can kind of store all my actual essentials. So right in here, it's actually like a wallet. I know you guys can't see, but it's actually like a wallet. It's got like spots for cards and stuff. So you don't even need a wallet in there, but I do carry a separate wallet in there because I like to have, you know, a, an actual physical wallet I can put in my pocket if I want to. But inside of this bag, I always have an emergency little cash reserve and some $2 bills. So 
right here I've got let's see usually I carry like 40 bucks or something in here but you guys I always keep around like 80 or like I said like 20 40 80 100 just like somewhere under 100 bucks but in just a couple different bills right I've got some fives in here got some tens in here got some ones in here I always keep just a little bit of cash like that right in here just because I like to be able to tip when I go places so I like to be able to tip in cash too because I know people appreciate it and then I always keep my two dollar bills these two dollar bills are good luck and they are also well these symbolize good wealth, good health, good luck, everything to me. This is something that I grew up doing ever since a kid. And then the other thing that was inside of that bag, you guys, is this Creator Coach wallet. I think Coach is a great brand for wallets. I've had Gucci wallets, all sorts of different wallets. Coach has always been my favorite for some reason. If you're shopping for Coach, do not go to the Coach store. Go to the Coach outlet, wherever that is near you, because you'll get everything for literally like 60% off. But this was probably like 45, 50 bucks, maybe. This little American Express right here which is the platinum american express business will allow you to get into all the airport lounges in the airports um which we were in when i landed in phoenix please 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 if you're out there doing business switch to using a credit card for your business expenses and just pay it off daily because otherwise you're just missing out on money you guys i spent so long using debit cards to pay for everything in my business and as soon as i found out about these i instantly you know felt so stupid for doing that for so many years because i could have been making so much extra money in points by just swiping with a credit card instead of a debit card. But anyways, next card I keep on me is going to be my actual American Express, uh, just personal credit card. So I'm gonna cover all the numbers, obviously, because the numbers are on the front on that one. But next thing I have in here is actually this. This is my great grandpa's. He served in the Vietnam War. And, um, you know, veterans and uh, military service has been something that has ran in my family for a really long time. And um, yeah, I never went to the military, but I have the utmost respect for veterans. My little Apple card. I love this card. It's the first ever credit card I got. I think it's a great credit card to get if you're just starting out and building your credit. This little Apple card is awesome. Um, I actually made a YouTube video on this pretty long ago, like four or five years ago when I first got it. But um, this is a great credit card. First one I ever got and uh, super cool. It's also metal and it's like, it's more metal than my Amex. And all right, you guys, so as we come over here, next thing we got is these blue light blockers. Blue light glasses, in my opinion, are always an essential and uh, these ones are pretty great. These blue light glasses are glasses that I've worn for a little while. I like the style of them. I like the look of them. Always keep a pair of blue light glasses on you because they are good for your eyes. So yeah. All right, you guys, so the next thing that I always carry with me is going to be my creator brand hats these hats are simply put the best hats in the game you guys i spent no joke little cool story about these hats you guys i spent probably four three probably three four years um not obviously of constant searching but three four years of trying different companies until i found somebody to make these type of hats. Literally longer than the creator brand has even been around, I've been looking for a manufacturer who could custom make these hats because if you notice, these are like the Bass Pro Shops hats. They have this little point at the tip and then they go flat down and they look super clean. These are literally, you know, and the reason I point out this point is because most trucker hats you see, this part right here is rounded only on one certain brand. They're pointed like this and made like this. So this is literally the Bass Pro Shops hat, but now it's mine basically this is the exact same hat as the bass pro shops hats i always got you know one on which is this one this little gray one basically what this guy is is a little camera so check this so when i turn it on boom right the camera automatically moves so the cool part about this camera is i used to rock with the gopros and i still have the gopros i have like all the gopros you know drones gopros cameras all that sort of stuff but the reason i like this one so much is because it has a stabilizer. So if you're using a GoPro and taking videos, it's usually pretty shaky. With this type of thing, you guys, you don't have to worry about that because it's literally a gimbal which keeps the camera steady. I also have Bluetooth microphones for it, but I don't even use them because the microphone that's just built into this is so, so great. But this one is, you know, basically my camera that I use if I'm just trying to go out and uh, do something that's, you know, not something where I could bring my big camera into.
So it's been a really good day. Honestly, today was super chill the first half. I was just kind of hanging out, chilling, did a little walk in the morning, kind of got a little workout running around the city, and then just headed back and got a ton of work done this morning. It's obviously a Monday. I ended up going out and going to Nobu. Sushi sounded crazy, so we got some insane sushi, you guys. Amazing chef, amazing experience. I even tried octopus for the first time in a while, you guys. Last time I tried just straight raw octopus like that was a little while ago, and I'm always into trying foods and I hated it the first time I tried it. So now when I tried it, I actually liked it. I feel like this is a new chapter. We're moving to Arizona in uh, less than 30 days now and 20 something days, which is going to be hype. Uh, got to get everything ready, which is going to be crazy. I mean, packing up is going to be insane. I got so much stuff in my current apartment. So I always like to get myself like a piece of jewelry to remember each time. As you guys know, um, I'm very sentimental about my jewelry. And uh, so I had to pick up myself another Gucci necklace. You guys, I'm literally collecting these things. So I've been trying to collect just a bunch of little Gucci necklaces just because I really love the necklaces that they make. I think Gucci jewelry is just beautiful. Out of all the designers, I really love what Gucci does just from a fashion, just they're such an icon designer brand. Like some of the stuff I wouldn't wear like Gucci slides, like I'm not a Gucci slides person, you know, but like the Gucci slides are iconic, right? They're like just such an iconic slide, like whatever you think of them, like it's one of the most iconic slides ever. I think Gucci is just like an icon. So this one right here from me and Cameron Howard. So Cameron Howard, which is the boy, uh, me and Cam obviously started Crystalline together and uh, we just did some crazy stuff that literally like, you know, most people will never get to experience with another person. We went and did some insane stuff together. Actually, after we got these, we went and got some insane food um, at the sushi restaurant in Miami. It's the, if Cam's seeing this, he's like saying the name right now. It's, it's in the Bell Harbor, Barber, whatever. But you guys, this next little necklace right here is another little double G one. I actually got this at the Gucci store in Portland, I believe. Yeah, this was the one in my hometown. And um, I got it just because I remember I was with my boy and uh, my boy started doing good uh, with one of his drop shipping stores and it was super sick. And uh, it was like his first like store that did well. And it was like, you know, just a good time. And uh, we went out and we just went out and grabbed dinner uh, out in Portland. And then I hit the store and I was like, I got to get something right now like this is literally like you know such a like good kind of like night to just like reflect and I wanted to remember that time and so I went and got this chain I always get necklaces at times I want to remember because whenever I look at it it reminds me of that time and it's just a little piece of me that I kind of I don't know bring with me everywhere and uh, it's kind of like tattoos I just really like feel connected with that stuff I'm just such a like what we actually added to the collection first off I love the way Gucci packages everything they always have like their little bags and stuff which are super dope but anyways what we ended up getting was this little guy right here I'm pretty sure that's French it's French for love is everything to lovers is what it means so it just means like you know love basically I appreciate you guys all for making it to this point in the video but we're just gonna be heading home so peace out All right, you guys, so we just got done eating a quick little lunch slash like breakfast because I haven't ate yet today. And now we're gonna go down to the gate, actually get on the flight, so let's get it.